Hey guys, Matt here with a short video from Azov. Today we're going to talk about tracking. I'm going to tell you what it is, what to look out for for improper tracking, what causes improper tracking, and how to set the tracking properly if it's slightly off. Unlike bikes, we have two front wheels, and those two front wheels need to be pointed in a very specific direction to give you the proper control when you're riding. If your wheels are too much towed in, you're going to see improper wear on the tire, and it's going to be a sluggish ride because those wheels are pushing against you as you're moving forward. If you're towed out, meaning the fronts of the wheels are farther apart than the backs of the wheels when measured from side to side, then your wheels will be working against each other. One trying to go this way and the other trying to go this way. You'll get the improper wear that I described previously, but you'll also get a very strange riding condition. It'll just feel odd. You'll feel like the trike is fighting against you. What can cause improper tracking? Well, you can have an accident with your trike. If the accident is hard enough, you can actually disrupt the tracking and the wheels can go out of whack. If you hit a pothole in the street as well, can disrupt proper tracking. In the next part of the video, I'll teach you how to set proper tracking on your front wheels. If the tracking is slightly off, this method will work fine. If your tracking is way out of whack, then we suggest that you go to your local AZUB dealer and let them help you diagnose the problem and get you back on the road safely. The tools that you'll need to set the tracking properly, it's pretty simple. You'll need two 10 millimeter wrenches. This is a adjustable tool that we keep in the shop here at AZUB. You can lock it into whatever position that you want in order to measure from front to back. But if you don't have access to this tool, which most of you probably don't, and you want to do it at home, you can use one of these. This is a simple fashioned measuring device that we made out of two sections of flagpole. We cut the flagpole and then we banded them with rubber bands and they hold together at a very specific distance apart. So you can measure the distance that you want and then elongate by shifting it along its axis and it is a fixed rod that is holding its measurement so that you can kind of figure out where you're at from front to back. Now, most of the time you need to check tracking if you've had some sort of violent encounter, either with the road or maybe somebody else on the road. Uh, but tracking is also something that should be done about every six months as part of routine maintenance, just to make sure that everything is copacetic. Now, Aza recommends a proper tracking of a front distance between the rims of the front sides of the two wheels to be two millimeters less than the distance between the two rims of the two wheels along the back side towards the back. Please take note that all your measurements should be taken when the front wheels are fixed in position running parallel to the center frame tube. So first let's take our tool and we'll go in between the rims along the inside edge of the right front rim and the inside edge of the left rim. When we have that distance measured and it's not diagonal, you got to make sure that the measuring rod is parallel with the floor that you lock it into place. Now when you're measuring the distance between the rims on the back sides of the wheel, you have to make sure that you try to get as close as you can to the center of the wheel hub. So you don't want to be too low or too high. You want to find that spot, that's that sweet spot. But on the back side, you have all of this obstruction. You have the suspension system, the steering system, and the, uh, the actual frame of the trike. So you, the best spot that we found is right above the frame, as close to the top as possible. And then you take it and place one edge of your measuring device on the rim on the left and one edge on the right. You see that? Just about a two millimeter gap. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, just to kind of give you an idea of how to use your handy dandy handmade uh, flag pole with rubber bands measuring device, it's, a, it's very similar. You're basically just 
sliding the two lengths along each other in order, in order to find that sweet spot and then allowing the rubber bands to hold the two pieces together so that you can use that same measurement between the rims of the wheels on the back side. So we'll just do the front side here. It's pretty close. Make sure that the two edges aren't spring-loaded because of the rubber bands and that they're sort of free to, uh, to retain their, their, their length there. Make sure. Okay, so taking that same measurement from the front to the back, and we have a gap of two millimeters between the two rims along the back side of the wheels just above the center axle. If your tracking is slightly out of whack and you do need to make an adjustment, it's pretty simple. You just need the two 10 millimeter wrenches and you need to adjust one of the two steering control arms. First, you take your two 10 millimeter wrenches. One of them is designed to grab the control rod itself, the black part of it, and the other is designed to loosen the nuts on either side so that you can spin it freely. So you wanna break it loose in the front side, and then you wanna break it loose on the nut that's on the back side. And then you take and spin the control rod slightly forward or slightly backward, depending on how you wanna to tow in or tow out. Azub does not recommend you spinning more than say a quarter turn every time you test. So you spin it a quarter turn, then you measure the distance between the front sides and the back sides of the two wheels alongside the rims, and then you adjust as necessary. If it's any more than a half turn, Azub recommends that you take it to the dealer and get it diagnosed and fixed properly. As soon as you have it where you want it, you use your 10 millimeter wrench to hold the rod in place, and then you lock the nuts on the front and back side with a little bit of tension, just to make sure they don't wiggle loose. And you do the same thing with the back side, making sure not to spin the rod freely or else you're gonna uh, tow in or tow out the front wheels. So there you go. I hope you have a better understanding of what tracking is, how important it is, and how to adjust it if you're slightly out of whack. If you have time, take a look through our library of videos. And if you wanna see me traveling around the world on a trike, you can go to my YouTube channel, The Gyo Nation. Thanks a lot. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you in the next one.